with breaking news. We do have this breaking news update to a deadly shooting in Clearwater. We now have shocking and extremely disturbing surveillance video that shows a man shot and killed right in front of his son on Thursday. The store owner says a shooter in this case has a history of assaulting people in his parking lot. ABC Action News reporter Adam Weiner is live right now at the store in Clearwater. Adam, you spoke with another man who says that he was also threatened by the shooter just a month ago. That's right. This man named Rich Kelly tells me he had a run in with this same shooter here in this parking lot just about a month ago. In that scenario, it was also about a parking spot. Also called this man racial slurs and even threatened to kill him. And uh, what I should tell you as well is that now, a month later, it's a very similar case. And in this time, though, it ends with a father being killed in front of his own five year old son. He flipped out saying he would shoot me. So, so when I left, then he called my owner of my company stating that he was going to kill me. Rich Kelly says the man who confronted him was upset. He parked in a handicapped space. It's the same thing that Michael Draker was upset about Thursday when he was yelling at a woman in this parking lot. This is surveillance camera video from the store. It shows Marquise McLaughlin leave the store to defend his girlfriend and shove Draker hard to the ground. Draker then pulls out a gun and shoots McLaughlin square in the chest. We're pausing this video the frame before McLaughlin is shot. He dies soon afterwards, right in front of his five-year-old son. The store owner says McLaughlin was a frequent customer who was there buying a candy bar for his little boy. Sad to see his son right in his diner in front of his son. That's for a parking lot, for a stupid reason, just to argue, just to find someone to argue with. The store owner says he had to call the cops a month ago on Draco when he got in a yelling match with Rich Kelly. Out here he said he'll shoot me, call me and stuff like that, so. It's, I mean, I think it's a racial issue. Now, this morning, deputies tell us they are still investigating, but because Michael Draca does have a legally requ uh, acquired uh, concealed weapons permit, right now, authorities tell us this could qualify as a stand your ground case. You can see that video on our website as well. It clearly indicates that the victim, the person who got shot, was the initial aggressor. Tense moments where two lives will change forever in just seconds. Jeff Swartz, ABC Action News' legal expert, takes a closer look at the men's body language. And he starts to back off. According to Swartz, it's a unique case where the aggressor flips from one side to the other. At this point, the defendant is under no immediate danger. Meaning Marquise McLaughlin, now dead, may have started a physical fight, but when he saw the shooter pointing a gun, he leveled off. The victim is no longer the aggressor. At this point, the shooter is the aggressor. And once he becomes the aggressor, he is not entitled to stand your ground. In, in recent years, though, Florida's stand your ground statute has shifted. With the old stand your ground defense, if it is clear the shooter escalated the violence, he wouldn't be protected by the law. Now it's the state's duty to prove it. The defendant can get up there and testify to how he felt and what was going on and how he was reacting to it. It's very hard for the state to overcome by clear and convincing evidence that assertion. Either way, Swartz says the stand your ground law will likely be a factor in the case. Andrea Lyon, ABC Action News. What's relevant, and the only thing that we can look at here is was he in fear of further bodily harm the stand your ground law gives Floridians the right to protect themselves if they feel threatened and because of it, police decline to press charges. Y'all got video. Y'all have everything y'all need. How is it stand your ground? How? But police are defending their decision. He had to shoot to defend himself. You know, and those are the facts and that's the law. Those are the facts and that's the law? Really? Well, let me tell you something, you freaking pig. Mr. McLaughlin had to defend his family. He had to stand his ground against the freaking terrorist that deputized himself that could not mind his own business. Yeah. I, I just can't stand the devil standard. Devil standard, devil standard, that's what I call it. Either, either way, I could use it. The fact that 
this idiot, who also should be put under investigation, he probably has some clan ties or something like that. You know, the FBI talked about these Nazis infiltrating law enforcement, which is not necessarily new, but yeah. Um, the man was not defending himself. He was antagonizing people. He was antagonizing the man's wife. And then he shot the man right in front of his wife and kid or girlfriend. Pretty much. I, I mean, they're saying it's his girlfriend. I don't know. But that's that's basically his family. It doesn't matter. An innocent man who was trying to protect his girl was killed for no freaking reason at all. This Dredka, whatever the Michael Dredka or Dredka, whatever the hell his name is, should be arrested and, and, and charged. They need to redo that. And they're keeping this man's picture off of the um, news. Someone should find it. I've been looking for it. I want to see his face. It's funny how they always hide theirs. They always hide the people that are doing that. I hope somebody finds the way finds finds a picture of this guy. We want to see who the fuck this guy is. Anyway, Mr. Mr. McLaughlin was standing his ground when he was protecting his lady and his kid from a from a wannabe freaking police idiot trying to freaking supervise who's in a damn parking space could have just minded his own damn business it was none of your fucking business idiot i just something's got to give man this is too much you got george zimmerman walking the streets and he i mean he killed he antagonized and killed Trayvon Martin, and now you have this idiot. Both happen to be in Florida, which is why I did the previous video. Something's got to give, man. This is ridiculous. This is a criminal activity. That man needs to pay for the innocent blood that he shed. He's going to pay. Trust me, he will. By God, he's going to pay for that. Seriously. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I'll tell you this. God does not like ugly. And that dude, I mean, like he, he's known for antagonizing people. You saw the other guy in the video talking about that, but yet no one wants to put that or bring that into account. A bully, basically. This idiot was a bully. Why don't you go the fuck home, dude? Go the hell home. A fucking racist bully calling people. I mean, it's clearly antagonizing going after black. I mean, not only should he be locked up and charged for the crime, he should be charged for a hate crime because of his previous activities. But yet you got this deputy devil right here, whatever the fuck he is, that does not want to even recognize that. Oh, yeah, he recognizes it. But the thing is, it's the law. He was defending himself. He wasn't defending himself, you stupid idiot. He was antagonizing others and brought about that, provoking people to basically defend themselves against him and him giving any excuse. What the hell is he doing carrying a gun? He knew what he was doing when he went to talk to that lady or bully that lady. Yeah, there needs to be justice. I'm sick of this crap, man. There is no justice with this. Something's got to give. I hope we we get a, 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 a picture to match this profile instead of that gritty video. That guy needs to pay. He needs to pay. Michael Glock, Michael McLaughlin, I'm sorry, Marquise, my bad. Marquise McLaughlin was defending his family. He was standing his ground. Where's the law and the rules for him? Where is the rules for him? Where's the law and justification for him and him defending his family? 
The stand your ground law should work for Michael, I'm sorry, Marquise McLaughlin. Michael Drexka, whatever the hell his name is, should be put under the freaking sale.